Garrett Shaw, the Lake County Examiner. It's Friday, June 14th, and only a week left until the first day of summer. Here's your two minute video news source for everything Oregon Outback. It's The Flash. As it goes every year, the budget meeting for Lake County signaled in a final dollar amount for the 2019-20 year of $44,632,250, down from this year's figure of $46,134,971. The approved budget was discussed during the Monday, May 6th and Wednesday, May 7th budget meetings in the Lake County Commissioner's hearing room and will be approved in the June 19th Board of Commissioners meeting. Brad Winters, James Williams, and Mark Alverson will all approve it. For more detailed breakdown, check out the next week's examiner. With the final results tallied, Lake County Special Education Director Lonnie Chavez presented the results of the Healthy Teen Survey, Oregon Student Wellness Center Survey, to the Lake County School District No. 7 Board. The survey was designed to assess a wide range of topics that included school climate, positive youth development, mental health, physical health, substance use, problem gambling, fighting, and other behaviors. The survey was conducted with 6th, 8th, and 11th grade students. In the Lake County School District No. 7, the students in the three grades were right in line with the state average in regards to supportive atmosphere involving teachers and other students. Pick up the next Lake County Examiner for more results. An investment of $5.6 million in railroad safety and rehabilitation to Lake County's portion of Goose Lake Railway was announced on Wednesday, June 12 by Oregon U.S. Senator Jeff Merkley and Ron Wyden. The Consolidated Rail Infrastructure and Safety Improvements Grant Program funding as part of a $10.6 million project to rehabilitate the railroad and address the rail, tie, and bridge work of the 55 miles of line that stretches from Lakeview to Alturas. These upgrades will provide for almost 250 lumber mill, mining, fuel refining, and railroad operating jobs. Lakeview swim team's assistant coach Kristen Hill spoke out regarding some concerns with the town of Lakeview and the Lakeview swim team. Speaking before the Lakeview Town Council on Tuesday, June 11, Hill started out with a brief overview of what the swim team is looking forward to this year. One concern was that discussed a lack of communication between the swim team and the town of Lakeview. The team's second cause of concern was a lack of accountability and oversight between the pool manager, pool staff, and lifeguards. While commending the staff a year ago in regards to their helpfulness, she noted the lack of tools to hold swim lessons and keeping things clean and professional looking. She was happy to work with the council on finding a solution. Well, there's the buzzer, so that does it for us this week. Be sure to check out our online calendar to keep up with everything happening around Lake County. Follow us across all these social media sites. Check out a new Lake County Flash every Friday, a hotspot every Tuesday. And for these stories and so much more, be sure to grab your examiner this coming Wednesday. Lake District 2019 Daily Days Health Fair is almost here. This year's theme is Treasure Your Health. The event will take place at the Lake District Hospital campus on Saturday, June 22nd, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We'll be featuring Saturday market vendors and information, health services, emergency service, and a kid zone. We'll have raffle and door prizes, so this is an event you won't want to miss. Lunch will be served with a choice of a barbecue burger for $8 or bratwurst or hot dog for $5, plus your choice of sides. See you there Saturday, June 22nd, the Daily Days Health Fair.